Well, welcome back, Laura. Um, I when I when I speak a lot of times, I talk about influencers, and I talk about um, my grandfather was probably my first. Um, he was from Kiev, and my grandmother, and my mom, and whatnot. So he had an accent, and he used to take me for walks in the park when I was like about five or six. And and really quick, I asked him one time. I said, Zeta, how do you know all these people? And he said, yeah. I didn't know any of them. I, one day I smiled at one, and they smiled back at me, and then they started yeah. talking to me. So I talked to them as well with the accent and I'm thinking, and, you know, on and on. And as a five or six year old, I kind of got it, but I got it more as I grew up saying how brilliant and how influential a mutual influence they had on each other by, by, by just a starting with a smile. So influences can come in a second. They can come a lifetime. Can you share with us? I know there's probably a lot, but maybe two or three people that have been influencers in your life. Gosh. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, dad, 100%. Um, because, so my dad, I said he was a military man. Uh, he was, um, not sure if I'm allowed to say it, but he was, a, he, was he led the bombs disposal unit. Wow. Um, and he, yeah, he was a pretty incredible guy. You know, some stories. Yes. That <laughs> and so, and dad's philosophy was live life because tomorrow you never know what's going to happen, right? He's the, so as my husband describes it, he's the man who ran to, into the danger while everybody else was running out because that's, that was his job. Wow. And my dad lived life to, to the max, you know, he, he, he's, his view is like, I'm just, I'm going to eat, I'm going to have a few drinks, I'm going to do this uh, because that's it. And so he really taught me that philosophy. Right. I like I enjoy life and I love life and, and life is home and work and, uh, and family and friends. But, you know, we spend so much time at work. And that's one of the things as, as a team leader, I always say that, you know, we have to enjoy it. Um, and when and, and that's one of the things when I do recruit people in my team is that we're going to enjoy each other's company. Um, are you different to me or you know is there some different quirkiness that we can really enjoy together and learn from each other so yeah I mean that's that's quite a big piece for me um, as well and it's also made me quite pragmatic about things too so it's taught me that piece so been so many others have influenced me great managers um, you know really great manager who and you, I'm sure everybody's heard this is always hire people smarter than you 100%, right? Yeah, that was a big one for me. So I always, I learned that and I make sure I keep that in mind. Um, yeah, I, I guess, you know, it's just work related and personal related. So family and friends um, as well. It, I tend to be very uh, focused, right, um, on what I'm doing and, uh, and getting influence around styles and, and the way that I grow um, and I would kind of take that on board. And I learn through learning. I learn through listening and, and parroting and, and shadowing people. And so, you know, that part of the influence comes into me. I hope that answers it. It's not very specific, but yeah. No, but that's, that's really real. Um, one last question. Somebody you've never met before, but you'd love to meet. Uh, has to be a real person. <laughs> Not oh, necessarily. You talking about an avatar or something, a robot? <laughs> <laughs> um, I would love. So if it was a real person. I would love to meet Elvis. All right, <laughs> so, <laughs> rock and roll. <laughs> yes. Um, if it's not a real person, and I know this sounds terrible, but for, for people who know me very well, they'll get it. I would love to meet Yoda. Because I think he's the biggest influencer, right? And leader and coach um, and, and, you know, and the stand for what's right. So, yeah, I'm a big Star Wars fan, obviously. Well, And his quote, by the way, Mark, his quote, you say you love quotes. One of Rio's quotes was, um, judge me by my size, do you? And I'm quite little. And it was one of those things I was like, okay, you know, don't, don't, don't judge the book by this cover. Um, give me a chance um, and I can build on it. And what beautiful advice that is, right? That's fantastic. <laughs> um, thank you for sharing all that. That's beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome.